Hi everyone. Today I have amidst us two very special young people, two very special British Asian artists, none other than Mumsy Stranger and Tasha Ta. What's up? Cool. Hello people. Yes. How are we? Very good. And what was New Year's like? Ooh, wicked man. You know what? It was crazy. It just, it just, I think it just passes now, doesn't it? Yeah, you don't exactly. even realise. You no, know, it's wild. I had a great time with my family, my friends, quite up. Yeah, man. Brilliant. And you were performing, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, it was another, another busy night, man. I had two performances and uh -huh. literally got to my family by one. But it was late, but it was good. Better late way. than never. Exactly. Do you know, both of you, I have this question for you, this burning question that I often think about. And we are from an organisation called the National Indian Students' Union. So all Indian and even Pakistani Bangladeshi students on board um, and, and other young people who've graduated. One question that keeps coming up is, what does being British Asian actually mean? Um, for me, being British Asian, I think it means, it means everything really. Because we've got access to every culture, every religion, every background. Um, you know, the Western, but at the same time we're Eastern. We're bringing the two together, we're mixing things up. As an artist, it means that we're experimenting. It means that we're bringing cultures together, different styles of music together, and it's working. Mm -hmm. And I think that you know, it's being accepted, it's now crossing over onto Bollywood, it's now going into mainstream. So in so many different ways, I think being British Asian is a massive plus point. Mm -hmm. um, I think that, you know, there's so many different avenues that we can go as, uh, go in as artists, as business people, as careers, as different choices that we're making in our lives. So for me, it's, it's I love being British Asian. Brilliant. And Mumsy? Uh, she got a really good perception of it. Um, <laughs> obviously, I'm going to see the uh, flip side. I think that, um, I think obviously, uh, British Asian for me is more of a myth. You know, it's like, it's something that's kind of made up. Okay. I think it's good. Obviously, what Tasha said, she's absolutely correct. You know, you can see it through so many different ways. For me, um, obviously, being an R&B, soulful reggae act, uh, for me, it's more of a situation where, I'll give you an example. Um, someone said to me, oh, you're an amazing, Asian R&B singer and it confused the hell out of me. I was like, okay, what do I sing in Asian and then sing R&B and put it in, mix it like a Bombay mix that, or are you trying to say that I'm Asian who sings R&B? I turned around and my answer was, actually, I'm an R&B singer who happens to be Asian, mm -hmm. Bengali, which I am. So mm -hmm. it's kind of like, it could be a good thing, but it's, it could also be um, a negative thing as in pigeonholing us, you know, kind of just making us not you know, it's almost like you can't sing R&B or you can't do this or you can't do that kind of thing. So I think there's two ways of looking yeah, at it. Yeah, Tasha's got her way of looking at yeah. it, which is cool. Mm -hmm. uh, you can look at it anyway, but that's my opinion of it. Excellent. So have you faced any, you know, while trying to break into mainstream or even break into the R&B scene, yeah. have you faced this personally or uh, has it deterred you in any way? Yeah, I think 100%. Um, it's not like, I'm not like here to obviously be too political but I do share my views and my points and I think that you know people do need to kind of just support it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. I do believe where Tasha is absolutely correct that we are the new wave you know yeah. and I think that I'm, I'm proud to be British Asian at the same time and be British, Asian, Bengali, Pakistani, Indian, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm, I'm proud you know because we are breaking through, we are sticking to what we do, creating new styles, trying to be original at the same time and I just think that it is exciting and, you know, I can't wait to kind of see that change, mm -hmm. you know, which we're all looking for. Yeah. And you've obviously, we've been speaking about how you're now being accepted into Bollywood. So, yes. obviously, we now know we've done Karle Pyar Karle. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah, it's crazy, you know, um, you know, first of all, wow, you know, never would have thought we'd do Bollywood. <laughs> yeah, well, I, knew, well. I, I believed, I like, always believed in Tasha mm -hmm. since day one. She yeah. knows that, yeah. Um, especially from the record that we've done, Handa Munda, which was the first single where she sang English. And, you know, Punjabi. Yes. Like, I learned from these guys, you know, working with these guys made me, mm -hmm. you know, understand a little bit more, correct, yeah? So for me, I never thought we were doing Bollywood together. <laughs> yeah. well, I'm so <laughs> glad that you're working on this journey mental. together. It's like being on a journey with your brother, yeah. you know? And it, the way that it all came about, I worked with Juan, uh, which was the song that's gone into the film. I wrote that song uh, about a year ago. Mm -hmm. and. Um, something that we just had on, on our catalogue of music and mm -hmm. um, uh, Mums had a meeting with them, Mr. Sumindo Shinji and he showed them, you know, we've got this song. Um, they loved it and they said we wanted to do the film. So, and, and the thing is, it was just right to have Mums in the song. 
it just Man. fit perfectly mm -hmm. and you just was a really different element and she made me you. sing in like yeah Punjabi, I can't sing like, you can do it <laughs> you know if it was you're hard. a Kalabad, if you're an artist and you're a Kalabad and you can sing in any language absolutely you know yeah. Yeah, I can learn sing in French tomorrow because I'm an artist True. and a singer so uh, and it just felt right to have him on the song because he just brought something so different to it um, he brought a more mainstream vibe to the, to the song mm -hmm. um, made sense I yeah, think exactly. but I think both of us together are just elevated the track and you know especially Sunil Darshan man wow you know for him to even believe in the project yeah. and to kind of put it together like, it took us long like three months I remember it was snowing yeah. was Skype sessions yeah. mad like I'll be I'll be on Skype with Tasha on my own just us two and there'll be like 500 of them on the other side <laughs> like really they're really really specific and you know they're really yeah. professional the way they work and they really really wanted this record and the way we got it together was, yeah. it was a journey man Exactly. It's been so much fun putting it together and then we've had even more fun going out to Bollywood mm -hmm, mm -hmm. being there in the thick of it and the, the, the amount of respect that they show for an artist um, is incredible. You know, they have so much respect for your, uh, for your craft, uh, for your art and um, you know, obviously we write all our own lyrics um, which we're very passionate about um, and we just had so much fun out there. Even uh, Mr. Uh, Sunil Doshinji was so pleasant uh, to talk to. Yeah, relaxed. Uh, yeah, the actor and actress in the film, Shiv Doshin, was extremely handsome, and I'm sure <laughs> the girls are going wild for him. And mm. Haseem Gauri was from India. Wow. Um, so nice. She's tall. Yeah. They're all tall. <laughs> you know what? They made us put our heels on. We look like midgets. Yeah, we look, we look like we were dwarfs. Seriously. Yeah, man. We look like there, and they're up there. <laughs> step ladder. We look like step ladder. We had neck ache when we got home. Yeah. So, so Bombay was magical, was it? Oh, wow. It was an experience of a lifetime, you know, and, and to be honest, we're writing a lot more material for Bollywood mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. yep. um, so we've been together our catalogue and we're writing more songs for them. So that will be in the pipeline this year. Possible you know, album. Yeah, possible yeah. album yeah. Uh, to go out into Bollywood. But um, yeah, Gurban, the song, um, the works all come together. We shot a video out there, yeah. which is going to be so cool because mm -hmm. it's really different. Um, and we're in the uh, video with the cast as well, so yeah. You know what was crazy for me was like, as soon as we landed, it was just, it's amazing, like, so calm on the plane. As soon as you come out, like, you're in this busy environment, <laughs> yeah. everything, like, we had to get on them, uh, what do you call them, rickshaw, eh? Auto, yeah, auto, auto rickshaw. Auto rickshaws, yes. Can you believe they've got, like, a digital speedometer now? I oh, have they? It's all legit, <laughs> okay. proper, like, it's so cool. We were just, we had to, we just went mad, yeah, like. Yeah. It was just so busy, but um, the way they actually manoeuvre, everything's just so last minute as well, yeah. and which is it's a exciting. It's way of working, but they yeah. get the job done, and they're so, very, so professional. Even the way we ate was crazy. <laughs> we had the, that that's little that's metal that's plate that's with these little... Everything. Yeah. Tiffins. Yeah. Tiffins. 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 Yeah, yeah. 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 we just say tallies, tallies. Tallies, yes. Yeah, tallies, yeah, yeah. man. Happening. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> it was, no, you know what, why it really opened our eyes, you know, to what we're doing out here in the UK. It's so very different. Mm -hmm. yeah. We've got a different market and, and uh, the UK, Asian, urban sort of market is very different to Bollywood. You know, that's on a completely different scale. And for me, as an individual artist, the next step was Bollywood. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. The next yeah. step for me was to go into that market. And I'm so happy and thrilled that, you know, Mums are doing that journey. Yeah, man. It's crazy. Like, you, would, you wouldn't believe how musical they are as well. Like, they're so talented musically, they understand music. I think that the trip, as soon as I got back, like my ears just opened up a little bit more, so. I'm gonna go back again. Yeah, <laughs> definitely, yeah. man. Oh yeah. I, I second happen. that, from yeah. the bottom of my heart. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, it's almost sort of become, a, it's, or it's becoming a staple thing, this crossover between the East and the West, in most mm -hmm. real terms, because not only are, I think, British Asian artists going out there, Indian artists, Sonu Nigam, yes. Sunidhi Chauhan, they've all done pretty big collaborations, whether it's with Jay Sean, whether it's with mm -hmm. um, Britney Spears, <coughs> it's, yeah, it's all going... I mean, you look at like Akon, Snoop Dogg, yeah, yeah. Chamma Chandler. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they've done huge tracks, and I, yeah. I think it's a wonderful thing, because everything is mixed up. Yes. Why not? I yes. think RDB is doing a good job. You yeah. know, much respect to them. Yeah, you know, yeah, they've definitely. just done a track with, uh, I think, was it T Pain? So yes, I think it's yes. great. I think that yeah. these things excite people even more. I think they put the artists like us on the map even more. Mm -hmm. And yeah. would you like to sing a little bit of Gurban for us today, <laughs> yeah, please? Absolutely. Let's go. Alright, so I'm just going to sing uh, a little bit. Jana, a kiyadi kya 
दिल वाजमारा हो गए कुर्बान मैं दिल के मजाला हो गए तेरी जाने मैं जाना जाने मैं जाना Brilliant, wasn't that? Oh, you you do drive me crazy. Why are you messing with my heart? I I I know you love me. But you're driving us apart. You you do drive me crazy. I know, drive me crazy. You you do drive me crazy. Drive me crazy. Do the Johnny, man the Johnny girl. Do the Johnny, man the Johnny woman. Excellent, brilliant. Thank you very much. Wait for the video now. Can I? Yes. Brilliant. And what's 2014 looking like for you? Oh, it's been crazy, man. What it's been three years since I uh, um, released my single "Fly with Me," mm -hmm. but now you know, finally, I'm back with a brand new single called "Love Comfort." Watch out for it. Um, featuring a new act called Trima. There's a R&B mix to it, and there's also um, an Asian Bali mix refix, which I've done as well, which is okay. quite crazy. Um, and yeah, loads of stuff, loads of stuff uh, coming out, loads of stuff. I can't, I'm excited, man. We're literally gonna hit the studio and just yeah. go mad. Brilliant. With that, I think we'll end today's conversation. Thank you very much for coming along today. Thank you.